Hi guys, so Eileen Foster, the former leader of the DUP and now commentator on GB News, was awarded by the Queen this weekend as part of her jubilee. Dame Eileen Foster here suggested that the people of Barbados and other countries should be allowed to declare themselves a republic, which is a little bit ironic as she has stood for a long time against the people of the island of Ireland having a referendum on their future. I get a feeling that she doesn't really care about these countries because they don't impact her life politically. Here she was interviewed by Irish State Media, RTE. What you say to somebody who would argue that there's nothing that the Queen herself has done over the last uh, 70 years or any of her successes, as you've mentioned, there's nothing that they can do personally that couldn't be done by an elected head of state chosen by the people themselves? Yes, but an elected head of state, of course, is uh, by its very nature political and they have to campaign to get elected. What we have is someone who transcends politics, who uh, looks at the good of the nation as a whole. And I think from the service of Her Majesty the Queen, you can see the way in which uh, she has been able to rule, uh, albeit in a constitutional monarchy, of course, taking advice from her government. But I think she is the subject of much love uh, because of her service and because of her dedication. Now, there are are 54 member states of the Commonwealth. 34 of them are republics, the most recent being Barbados. They've chosen not to have uh, the Queen as their head of state. Six more Caribbean nations have indicated they might do the same. The new Prime Minister of Australia is a republic and he's appointed a minister to pursue that issue. So it does appear that the tide is turning and many of those countries have said that they will uh, move more towards uh, republicanism uh, once Charles becomes king. Well, that's for them. And of course, Her Majesty the Queen is very clear uh, about all of that. But I think the Commonwealth has been a huge success uh, under her leadership. Uh, that leadership will continue under her son, bringing together those diverse countries right across the world under the Commonwealth banner gives it that strength. And uh, whilst people might want to make points about republics and what have you, I think Her Majesty the Queen is loved right across the world. Uh, she's certainly loved here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the UK. The, the problem is not the Queen herself. The issue is not the Queen herself, Elizabeth Windsor. And this is what Eileen Foster is trying to sell here. Elizabeth Windsor is well liked. Yes, and I agree with you 100%. The problem is the institution, the idea that you have somebody who's unelected. And, you know, when it comes to presidents, yes, she's right, they will be political. We have two t different types of presidents. We have, you know, the the ones we have the the French style, the American style one, and we also have the figurehead, like in Ireland or in Italy. Um, but the thing is, if a president isn't doing a good job, they can be removed. It's a bit more difficult if that is a monarch, if that's a king or a queen. Yes, Queen Elizabeth has done a very good job over the last seventy years, but we don't know who's going to replace her. Uh, and we don't know how they're going to rule. Now, the, the argument on one side is, well, she doesn't really have any real power, so she can't do anything. But then on the other hand, they're saying, well, she's, isn't it great that we have her, that she's able to unite the nation? But as, you know, what's to stop a rogue monarch? You can't vote them out. And while Eileen Foster here is saying, yes, well, you know, it's up to the people of Barbados and other places in Australia to, to decide their future, when it comes to a border poll, a united Ireland, Eileen Foster is completely against the idea of the, the people of Ireland, the island of Ireland, voting for their future. She, she's not, it's not that she, she supports a border poll and then supports the union. No, she's completely against the idea of a border poll in the first place. So it's okay for the people of Barbados, the people of, of Australia, but it's not okay for the people of Ireland. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.